welcome back to the channel. That uh, view you saw, that was um, from one of our uh, lunch stops in Kono on the big island of Hawaii. And we just got back from eight days on the Hawaiian Islands. We spent three days on the big island and five days on Oahu. Great time, toured some volcanoes, saw a lot of beaches, a lot of good food, mahi mahi, I think I ate more than my share. And we saw Pearl Harbor, which was breathtaking and solemn. Just reading some of the stories on the walls of the museum, you know, you get tears in your eyes just thinking about what they had gone through to given their lives for our country. Um, I didn't get to go see Dylan, Double D Vintage. We weren't in his town. And uh, going to, it would have been great because going to Dylan's is like, um, musicians going to Daryl Hall's house and performing with Daryl. Um, I kind of look at it that way. It would be a great experience, maybe someday. Um, there was a big backup on one of the highways, so I let a guy through that, um, just pulled up to the stop sign and he gave me the shaka, which is um, similar to, well, I mean, we always called it hang loose, but it's a symbol of, you know, like, thank you or, uh, you know, all right or whatever. And um, it was just a good time, nice and relaxing. Um, I'll, sh I'll show a 360 of Waikiki Beach after the video is over here. And today I have a mail day. Um, got one item from a contest drawing that I won, Omeo Tenny over at Show Us Your Hits. And um, a couple exhibit cards that I have came in for my set that I'm working on from 1947 to, through 66. Um, and also I'm at um, 200 subs and I uh, greatly appreciate everybody that subscribed to my channel appreciate your support um, and I'm gonna have a contest drawing for that which hopefully is fun for you all and we'll see okay the first item we'll get to is the contest win from Omeo Tenny show us your hits this was one of the prizes he was giving out it's an awesome RBI leader from 1972 top set. It's got Joe Torrey, who had 137 RBIs. Willie Stargell had 125. Hank Aaron, 118. And one other player had over 100 RBIs that year, and that was Bobby Bonds, Barry's father. I'll take it out of the sleeve here. a great card. Thank you so much, Omeo. Here's the back. And he also enclosed a letter. Congrats on my win. Thanks for your support and entering our giveaway. Here's the cards you won. Take care and keep collecting. He has an awesome signature too. I can only dream of writing that nice. Thank you, Omeo. I'll leave a link to his site um, down below. In the and um, I just I enjoy looking at the cards that he's showing. I, I have to get to the ones that I missed while I was in Hawaii. Um, that's how they say it in Hawaii. Hawaii. If it's in the middle of the word, if it's beginning of the word, it's pronounced with a W, I guess. And next we'll get to the exhibit cards that I won. I the, be the best way for me, it seems to be, for is to buy lots of exhibit cards and take the ones out that I need for my set. And that's what I did with this one. I bought a four-card lot, and it was much cheaper than buying the two cards I needed individually. Here's a common card that I won't need. I'll put this with my duplicates, Gene Baker. And the other card, Grady Hatton. 
Those were both my duplicates. Here's a card that I needed for my set. Frank Baumholtz. I just love how they have these full player pictures of the pictures. There's Frank swinging his bat. I know they're probably posed, but I like that you can see from the hat to the toe. And here's Toby Atwell. This is a pretty awesome catcher card. He's throwing his mask off. Almost looks like he's balancing it on his head. Full catcher's gear. You can kind of see the grass down below. So you know that it was staged. You don't see any of the dirt from around the catcher's area. That brings me to a total of 200 and, and let me look at the total here. Two hundred and forty cards out of what I currently have for checklist is three forty nine. That goes up and down depending on what I want to add into my set. As far as some of these have printed in USA on the bottom. And this one is all caps. These might all have the same thing. No, here's a made in USA. They're all, there's so many different variations. And I keep finding more. The more I look, my set gets bigger. The more cards that I get to look for, which is part of the fun. And the next order of business, I'd like to get to my 200 subs in, pre in appreciation for your support. I'd like to have a contest, and I'd like to have... Here's what I'm going to be giving away. I have to show these two together because they kind of go together. 1949, Bobby Thompson and Ralph Branca. 19... Eureka Sticks, Eureka, Eureka Stamps. There's a Ralph Bronca. And there's the guy that hit the homer, shot her around the world. And also included will be a 1957 Mini Minoso Tops card. 1965 Carly Stremski embossed insert card number one in the set and a 1972 Opeachy Steve Carlton you can see that I don't know if you can see it but the writing between the two sections there's a paragraph in English and a paragraph in French And I'm going to open it up to, those are the prizes you can win if you do a VR. And if you comment below, you'll get a 1987 Tiffany. You'll have a chance to win a 1987 Tiffany Kirby Puckett. What I'm looking for is if, um, if you've met a professional athlete, I'd like to hear the story. You can show an autograph or you can show a card of the player or multiple players, multiple autographs, however you want to do it. But I just like to hear people's stories of professional athletes that they've met um, over their collecting lives. I, I know I've met a lot of athletes. I've met uh, Warren Spahn. He actually let me try on his World Series ring from 1957 when the Braves won. Tony Oliva, he was a great, great guy. He gave me an autographed baseball when I didn't have a baseball at all. Roger Maris, met him a couple times, and he was a very grateful signer. Willie Mays had an autograph signing. He was really nice. Um, speaking of Willie Mays, I, I think the best Willie Mays autograph signing or experience I ever saw was one by Matt at the card story he showed 
um, me a video of his young son and not too happy but Willie Mays tried to comfort him it's just awesome and um, also met like George Mike and he was a great guy to talk to Whitey Ford I mean there's so many so many players out there that have been to card shows that I've met I'm not really into it going up and getting autographs anymore um, I'm more into buying the second-hand ones and getting them authenticated today but in the past, I used to like to get a lot of autographs. Uh, Scott Ledoux, former heavyweight boxer, was interesting because my pen ran out of ink and he was trying to sign the ticket stub from his boxing match. And he uh, he said, sorry, sorry, kid. And then someone came along with a pen and gave it to him and I lucked out. But probably the one that I've talked to the most is Denny McLean. And I did buy six of these baseballs from him with 17 inscriptions. And I also got a baseball bat with 17 inscriptions from him. He gave me a good deal. I mean, it has, it has all those inscriptions about his no-hitter, his first game as a minor leaguer, a lot of his awards, his two Cy Youngs, MVP, 31 game winning 31 games in 68 him grooving Mickey Mantle home run number 535 second to last home run and he, he had some great stories I know he has kind of a controversial off the field life but um, he was great to talk to he married Lou Boudreau's daughter and um I know he always he he hangs out. I mean, when the Tigers get get together, they kind of um, tell Willie not to talk about the '68 um, riots because they don't believe that Willie actually went down there and tried to break up the riots or speak at the riots. Whatever he tells people, that's just Denny speaking. That's that's all I'm saying. Um, We'll have the deadline um, July 22nd before the National Week so you guys can concentrate on the National if you're going to do the VR for this. And uh, remember, this is you can put down your experience in the comments down below, and that'll put you in a drawing for the Kirby Pocket. And you can only be in one drawing either do a VR or comment down below you have to be a be a subscriber and I don't care if you're not from the US I'll ship it anywhere in Japan Europe Canada wherever Mexico hope I'm not missing any missing anybody but and these are the grand prizes for doing a VR the shot heard around the world with Bobby Thompson and Ralph Branca 57 Mini Minoso the insert of Carly Stremski 1965 embossed and the 1972 Opeachy Steve Carlton it's one of the greatest pitchers of his, in baseball when he was when he was pitching good he was pitching great great player and again thank you um, you know, for the prize, it's an awesome card, and um, hope everybody has a great day, and um, thank you for watching, appreciate your support, thank you.